Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is the video you guys requested. It's how I transitioned my toddler to a bed, an adult bed actually. So we're gonna talk about that. We recently transitioned Nikosh to his own bed and I'm not even talking a toddler bed, which we could do, but we transitioned him to a full size bed. And that's because his crib could actually convert into a bunch of different configurations, I guess you could say. We just completely skipped the toddler size bed. And the reasons for that are one, this is the main reason, is we realized that Nikosh just likes being in an adult bed. He started just hating his crib. It was a weird thing. It was like one day he was just like, I'm done. I don't want to be in my crib. Don't put me in it at any time. I want to say that he was about 18 months at this point. He was like a year and a half old. He just refused. He was like, I don't want to go back into that crib. Never put me in there again. And it got to the point where he tried to get out one day, even when we had it down to the very lowest that we could. He tried to get out of his crib and he hurt himself. He fell and he started crying really hard. I saw it on the camera afterwards and uh, I like replayed it and it was like heartbreaking to watch because he was just trying so hard and he didn't realize what was gonna happen if he climbed out and it, it was bad. He just like fell and hurt himself. And I was like, okay, that's it. So we started to bring him into our bed and co-sleep. And I know a lot of you guys are gonna be like, but you sleep trained him, is that a waste? It's not, I promise you. We had this realization that he didn't necessarily wanna sleep with us. I think he likes sleeping with us a lot, but he really just wanted to be in a bed. He wants to be just like the adults. And I think he saw us sleeping in our big bed. And so he wanted to sleep in a big bed too. We started noticing that like, we could just put him in our bed to nap all by himself. We could put him to sleep at night in our bed, at his bedtime, and we didn't necessarily have to go to bed at the same time. We would just do our whole nighttime routine with him, read a little book to him, and then maybe like, lay there and comfort him a little bit and then he'd go to sleep and he would sleep through the night. And so we realized he just needs a bed. And that's the main reason why, that's like a long explanation for why we chose a full size bed for him. The other reason for a full size bed is, you know what, sometimes I wanna sleep with him and that wasn't gonna happen in a toddler bed. So we just went full blown, full size bed. So now let's talk about the things that we did to his room and some of the stuff that we bought. Okay, so first off the bed, we originally bought a convertible crib. I don't recommend it now that we've gone through this whole process. First off, Arun, my husband, had to have one of his friends come over and help him convert the crib because it wasn't that easy to, to do. And second, it's kind of rickety. It makes a lot of noise. It's like squeaky. It doesn't feel sturdy. There's just something about it. I really hate it as a full-size bed. I loved it as a crib. Second, um, I was kind of picky about the mattress that we were gonna go with for him because, you know, I wanted his mattress to be comfortable. I wanted it to be something that I would feel comfortable sleeping in. We went with a Nicely mattress. It's a more affordable version of a memory foam mattress. I really like it. It's one of those that like comes tightly packaged up and it comes like in a couple of days after you order it and then you open it up and then it just like expands suddenly it's one of those beds i really love this concept of all these mattresses and it's really really soft but it doesn't have as much bounce to it i actually thought that would be a good thing for nikosh because if we're like laying with him in bed or if we come to check on him and stuff and i get on the bed it's not going to like bounce him or wake him up instead he won't feel any movement it's really soft it almost feels like a like a cloud kind of bed. It's really, really soft and comfortable. And I think he really likes it a lot. When we first got it, we just laid it out and we let it sit for a couple of days so that it could just air out and like really expand. And I noticed it got softer over the next couple of days. And we let Nikosh just kind of watch that, like, you know, like we put him on the mattress and stuff and we kept telling him this is his new bed and everything. So we, you know, like we planted the seed that he's gonna be sleeping there. Some of the other things that we bought, I obviously got him a new comforter with a new like duvet cover and everything. I bought him some um, sheets from Pottery Barn that have like Star Wars all over them. And it's because my husband is trying to get Nikosh into Star Wars. He's not there yet. He kind of just doesn't even notice it. I hate these sheets. I do not recommend them. They're scratchy, they're rough. Um, I've washed them a couple of times and they, they're still not soft to me. So I'm probably gonna switch these out. I thought they looked really cute, but you know what? Sometimes looking cute isn't what matters. I think it's gotta be comfortable and they're not, they're not soft at all. So Pottery Barn, thumbs down on the sheets. I love you guys, but the sheets gotta go. A lot of people ask like, oh, won't he fall out of the bed if it's like high up? Shouldn't you just put the mattress on the floor and stuff? The reason why we went with just a normal bed is because he had been sleeping in our bed and he wasn't rolling off. But I did notice he was starting to hit his head. He was banging his head on the wall because we put the bed kind of close up to the wall on one side. And he stays kind of on that side of the bed. But I noticed, I used to think that he was like waking up in the middle of the night because I'd hear a bang. And it turned out he was just like bonking his head on the, on the wall. 
and it, you know, it wouldn't wake him up, but it was bothering me. <laughs> so we got him these little pillow rails off of Amazon and they're really awesome. They just go on the sides of the bed. They're to keep your child from falling off of the bed. So that's nice to have that protection, but it also stops him from hitting that wall. And that's really, really nice. Um, we also changed out every single um, electrical outlet to baby proof them. That way, you know, in case he did wake up and we didn't notice or anything like that, we wouldn't have to worry about him like sticking his fingers into any of the outlets, which he doesn't really do anyway, but just in case. And the reason why we baby proofed it now and not before was because he was never actually in his room by himself unless he was in the crib. So this is the first time that we are like leaving him in his own room where he can like get out if he wants, you know? And so we decided we needed to baby proof it a little bit more in there. Now, as far as the tips to transitioning Nikosh to um, his own bed, you know, it's not foolproof and we're not geniuses. We're not, I'm not a sleep trainer at all. Um, actually, my sleep trainer was like, keep him in a crib if you can. I had so many moms telling me like, no, 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 keep him in a crib, keep him in a crib. But I just kind of decided to go with my gut feeling and my gut feeling was he wants to be in a bed and this is gonna be more of a struggle to try to keep him in a crib than it is to keep him in a bed. So my first tip is to trust your gut and listen to your toddler. I think if your toddler likes being in a bed and you know it, um, I think you'll know. I think you'll just know. I know I just knew that Nikosh wanted to be in a bed and it was time. My second tip is to introduce your toddler gradually to the bed because it's a new situation for them. I didn't want it to be like just cold turkey, throw him in there and see what he does because I didn't want it to turn into one of those things where he doesn't like it right away and he just starts getting out in the middle of the night and coming to our room, sleeping with us again. I wanted to make sure he liked this bed and he was comfortable with it. So we first just kind of introduced him to the mattress. I let him see, like I put the sheets on it first when they came in and I like, put them on the bed and like we would read books there and stuff and I just wouldn't make it a thing. And then afterwards we moved him to taking naps, like his daytime naps in the bed and we did that for an entire week. And once we realized he was comfortable in there, he wasn't getting up randomly and freaking out or anything like that. And then we went for it. We decided to move him into bed at night. So one of the tips for doing this is we decided to keep his nighttime routine exactly the same. I, I think that's a really obvious tip, but if you think you should like change any routine or anything like that to like make it, you know, like a big deal that he's moving to a big boy bed or a big girl bed, I don't recommend that. I think just make it not a big deal at all. We get into bed afterwards and I lay with him or my husband lays with him and we just read a couple of books and then I'll turn the lights off and I'll give him a big kiss. I'll like rub his head a little bit. And then he usually will fall asleep. There are some nights where he gets a little bit like antsy and will roll around a little bit and I might lay there with him a little bit, but then he'll go to sleep and you know, you can leave and he will sleep through the night. And that is so awesome. It was so freeing to have our own bed back. And like, you know, like the big reason why we couldn't handle having Nikosh in our bed too much was he moves around all over the place. Like he is constantly like, the entire night we watch our, our video camera in the mornings to see like what he did at night. And he's like from here to here, to here, to here, to here, back here, hitting his head on the wall. Like he's just all over that bed. And it was starting to become a big thing for us, more so for my husband, because at night he wanted to sleep like right on top of my husband's head. It was like this thing. My poor husband like just couldn't sleep at night because Nikosh would be right there, like just, plastered onto his face and as cute as that was it wasn't good for him to sleep and he needs to get up in the morning and go to work so i felt bad for him and it was just time it was time to transition nikosh now i don't want you guys to think that this has been a perfect transition at all it's actually the opposite we've had definitely some like ups and downs with it one of the big things is when he gets up in the middle of the night it means that i'm up and that's it like it just disturbs my sleep i'm awake and that's it I still also, at two years old basically, I still have that like mom spidey sense where I can just hear anything that happens. Not I, we, we don't even keep his uh, nighttime monitor uh, right next to my bed anymore like I did when he was an infant. Now I'm back to that period of like, I wake up for every single reason and I'm like wide awake afterwards. And now it feels like I honestly get like three hours of sleep at night. It's been kind of rough. I feel like I've got like tired eyes all the time lately. It's only been a month since we transitioned him. So hopefully that's gonna change a little bit. I have heard from lots of other moms, from sleep trainers, a lot of people. Apparently there's no stopping a child who wants to sleep with mom and dad. So if your kid is one of those kids, that's just kind of gonna happen whether you sleep train them or not. I'm so grateful that we sleep train Nikosh because like I said, he he actually tends to sleep through the night, but if he does wake up, 
he gets up out of bed. So he's done that a few times now. And what I've decided to start doing instead of letting him get into our bed with him is I pick him up and I walk him back to his room and I'll put him back in his bed and I'll lay there with him a little bit and let him go back to sleep so that he's like settled again and he doesn't feel like this anxiety of being all alone. Um, and that seems to work really, really well. Another thing that we ran into is he was recently sick. And when he's sick, you know what? I sleep with him in his bed because you know, I wanna be comforted when I'm sick. My husband definitely wants to be comforted when he's sick, so of course I'm gonna comfort my toddler when he's sick. And that's totally worked out fine. I don't think it's a big deal. I think every family should just do what works for them and know that, you know, you're gonna not have a perfect situation all the time. You might have that dream sleeper, that kid who just like moves into a bed and always stays there, or you're gonna get that kid that wants to get up. And I think you need to be just prepared for that. That's the biggest issue that people run into when they move their toddlers to a bed is they're free. They're literally free. You might have to put some baby gates up. We definitely had to put a baby gate up at the top of our staircase because, you know, as much as I don't think he's gonna go try to go downstairs, we don't wanna risk it. So those are things that you definitely have to think about. But the big one is your kid can get up out of bed. So be prepared for that know that there's gonna be some sleepless nights. And at the end of the day, it's still gonna work out though. Another thing I would do is definitely talk to your child's pediatrician. I talked to our pediatrician before we transitioned Nikosh. And one of her tips was like, you know, if Nikosh cries in the middle of the night, don't go to him and you know, like let him like try to settle himself. But I decided to make my own rules. I don't always listen. Um, and I decided like if he cries in the middle of the night, I'll go ahead and get up and check on him. And my reasoning for that is I know he can just get up out of bed if he if we don't end up coming over and checking on him and he probably will because that's the kind of kid he is but two i don't want him to feel like he's alone and this is like a scary bed to be in i want him to know that like mom is just right there dad it's just right there so if you need if you need us we'll come over just you know give us a call we'll well, come on over, it's totally okay. So you have to just kind of trust your mom gut, you know, like you know what's going on with your kid at the end of the day and you just gotta do what works for your family. So that's what we did to transition Nikosh to his own bed. Um, I actually got you guys $50 off of the Nicely mattress if you guys wanna try it out. I think it's a great mattress, it's very affordable and they'll ship it right to your house and it's so easy. I was kind of impressed with, with that. I promise this isn't sponsored at all. I just got you guys that discount, so why not? I'll leave that in the description below. If you have any questions, obviously ask me. I'll keep you updated on my Instagram account too on how this is all going because this is really kind of new for us. So, you know, follow me, let me know what you guys think and I'll talk to you soon, bye.